Hi, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Captain's YouTube Atheist Community and Tiny Chat Constructive. Alright, fine. Um, anyway, yeah, so it's another typical kind of waste of a time. <laughs> yes, in Tiny Chat. Uh, you know, no rational arguments to have with any kind of rational people with any kind of rational dissension. So it's basically always just a little bit of a a meeting of the um, like-minded um, already we got it kind of people. Anyway, flowers. Yeah, it's getting better and better here. It's all flowery. I think these have are not suitably covered with their proper netting. It's kind of annoying to have to put nets over all the lovely flowers. But, you know, it's got to be done. Deserve them. There's a new addition. I don't know what these things are called, these little red things. But uh, they are kind of interesting flowers. I got one of them to grow, which is cool, from a seed. I haven't gotten one to grow from a seed before. So, I like that. It's kind of an accomplishment of sorts, but just uh, lots of lovely variety here. Got a nice blue. It's kind of a real blue instead of a purple blue. It's kind of a real blue, which is nice. Just this plethora of flowers everywhere. Very nice. Very nice. Anyway, um, is there anything around the corner here? Nah, not really. Um, there are flowers over there, but they're not terribly interesting like these flowers. Anyway, um, so what else is news? Uh, yeah, well, I just mentioned Das Spook was in the room last night, got all kind of pissed off, blah, blah, blah. It's kind of interesting, extra colors in that one. See what it does over time. It makes bigger flowers. That was almost dangerous, those big giant four-inch hooks. Uh, could kill kill a person maybe if you you know throw it in somebody's face. These are just you know lovely, 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 lovely. So this worked out pretty well with the things here and the, the hummingbird flies right to the window and there's a little hummingbird thing. And it's you know it's all quite lovely, lovely. And then flies over here and does the hummingbird thing. So it all works out quite nicely. But anyway, yeah, lots of variety. Oh, mixed color. I like these mixed color ones. Very nice assortment. Uh, so yeah, this is something more interesting, maybe, right? Just let me see if there's anything of real note. There's something new blooms every day in here. So there's always something to say. Ooh, that's interesting. But not today. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't see anything new in here. Uh, anyway, uh, well, I do have verbenas grown over there. Just barely see them right there. Little purple ones. So I got one of those growing too. Sort of interesting. So anyway, just uh, you know, see this one's a nice uh, variegated color thing there going on. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so. Uh, success, I think. Yeah. Mostly. This blueberry bush isn't looking right. It's got blueberries on it. They aren't quite bluing yet. The other bush was way ahead. I already got a pint or whatever off the other bush. This one's just a little bit... Nothing's eating at it yet. I don't see any bite marks. But it's a little dangerous. I don't have proper fencing over here, so... <clears throat> you have to work on that. So, what else is news? In the greenhouse, see if there's anything in there new. Uh, nothing really spectacular. Well, not bad actually. Roll them into the sunnier hard sun today. Ooh. These monstrous hibiscuses are on their way to being, <laughs> yeah, to being something. So yeah, everything looks pretty good. Uh, deer got one of the tomatoes over here. Ate that one right off. But the flowers are surviving. So it's something. So yeah, it's all doing quite well. Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't hate it. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's 
better than I've done in the past with the deer. That's a, I like this one's growing short and it's a big flower, which is sort of nice. So I might like that. I don't think there's anything terribly interesting. These portulacas are kind of nice. Yeah, they're all yellow, which kind of sucks. I should have had more variety in the color, but they all have the fluffier blooms. So kind of an interesting flower. These are old lilies I've had for a while, but the deer just always eat them, so and I'm covering them. I'm getting more of them. Yeah, isn't that terribly fascinating? Well, it's not terribly. There's another one of them. A variety of them. Yeah, nothing outstanding in here. Hibiscus is, is, is and such. So that pretty much completes the roundabout. I guess I could move over here and show you some other stuff. Tomatoes are almost surviving in here. Let's see if I get something out of it. And such. Yeah, I do have some more petunias in the front windows there, kind of on the side there. It's kind of a nice idea. It almost looks like it's going someplace. And so I don't hate it. And uh, the cat's over there. And uh, they have eaten those marigolds there. But these pots might actually do something interesting too. So it's okay ish. Gotta cut back some of this stuff, obviously. And neighbor's tire got nailed. <laughs> yeah, this is good stuff, right? That's a little bit flat. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing to run over. Four fucking nails. So that sucks. Uh, but you know, shit happens to people. Every goddamn fucking lousy day. So, yeah, so what is there to say? Alright, um, Hoffa Day made his typical uh uh video. You know, basically counter arguing with the great no, I don't think so argument from I don't like your ideas. Uh, you know, whatever. It's not a counter theory. <laughs> you know, I think you're wrong. Well, that's not much of a counter theory. So, the hell with that. I mean, his counter theory, I guess, is. God is it different than you say. Now, see, that's kind of a giveaway here. Something's been chewing these up. Lousy fucking deers. Ate my irises. Didn't properly, properly defend them. So, yeah, deer did get seen. You can see all the choppy marks here. So, he did get that far. Fucking bastard. But, you know, that's not too bad considering how much he could have gotten. So, I guess I couldn't, can't complain. But yeah, it sort of pisses me off. I went to the trouble to, you know, plant those and more eaten stuff. Anyway, lots of flowers in here. Very nice. Yeah, that's a weird pink one there. It's almost interesting. Somewhere in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Anyway, um, so yeah. Whatever. Uh, the Hothway Day thing, you know, he's, he's, he keeps writing comments that are kind of rude and uh, dismissive, which is irritating. So maybe uh, if I have a fear of the conversation, I'll just read some of his own comments back to him and ask him to account for those. Uh, why doesn't he have the balls to say that to my face? Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, you know, the, the, oh, the comment sections are just disgusting, you know. Uh, Quinkakakaka guy making five million comments. Um, little snarky troll chick. Um, just, you know, oof. just, you know, not anywhere near the subject. Just a lot of personal attacks. But, same old crap. Um, yeah, I mean, there's other shit to mention, but it's just, you know, it's almost not worth the trouble. You know, uh, Snake Pliskinus under his Dizzle Dazzle, or whatever his account is, uh, made some video apparently that Hothla Day felt like responding to, and whatever. Who cares? Mm, I can't seem to find a care, so I didn't bother caring. Um, yeah, what else? Any other news? You think of anything?
<laughs> yeah, no, it's really the same old project. Uh, it all just has to be put in order. That's really all that's left to do is organize the argument into a little pamphlet of kind, uh, spelling it out, and then wait for somebody to show up with a counter argument better than, I don't think so. Uh, most people don't think so. <laughs> yeah, something better than that mush. Um, yeah, but it's, it's all mush. I mean, people just keep pretending their their delusions um, uh, are somehow thinking. Like having a delusion is a thinking. Yeah, I don't think it works that way. Yeah, I don't think so. So I think I can make a counter argument to delusion as philosophy. Uh, you know, the ego knows best. Yeah, I don't think so. Nope, nope, nope. Lovely day today, actually. So that'll be good. I'm a little over, under rested, under rested, over tired. So I figured I'd do this now. <laughs> yeah, before I get more uh, under rested as the day progresses. No, but I'm not obviously not doing much with this video, so I won't drag it out too long. It's just the same old, same old. People are a little sick of the same old bullshit, so... Uh, but I haven't found some new bullshit yet. So until I find some new bullshit, you're kind of stuck with the same old bullshit. But working on it... That's all I can basically say, right? It's, uh, there are plans in the works to do something different and to create a new routine and uh, a new kind of uh, interactive performance that may be conducive to more constructive conversation and at minimum uh, may make the peanut troll gallery uh, quite irrelevant if they can't come up with some kind of, you know, real argument. Now this is sort of interesting actually, so if you look at all these, they're all quite similar. They're all different plants though. And they're all quite similar, but they were all planted in very different pots at very different times and from very different seed package thingy. I mean, it's just kind of surprising that that many in a row, like that's one, two, three, four, five, six plants, right? In, that ended up in the same location and they basically have a very similar look to them. They're all a little bit different, but I mean they all have a generally similar look that's not this look or, you know, that look or, you know, some other look. They all have this kind of look. I mean, you can even count this one over here in the group. Just, that's a little surprising by, you know, a semi-random process that they would be all collected in that area. So, is that evidence of something besides coincidence? No. <laughs> yeah, but it is sort of interesting. There's a little flower on this one. Maybe I'll put him in the sun now. Yeah, might as well. I mean, it does get some sun there, but the hibiscus are rather large. I'll put him over on this table for now. It's kind of a deer location, so I do have to migrate them to some better location. And here, of course, is the cat. Yes, he's a bit of an attention whore and all that crap. And, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But he's suitably cat-like. Yes. He performs as a cat quite adequately. And, uh, so, uh, you know, as a cat, he seems to be sufficient. So, yeah, sorry, dragged it out. I really didn't need to do that to you, but I did. And uh, such, so forth and whatnot. So, till the next time. Uh, yeah, my rose is really got nailed. That's a funny color, actually. It shouldn't be that color. It should be more orange, that rose. But, I don't know, maybe it's changing. The one in the back should be red. This is a different variety. should be yellow and orange. Beats me. So anyway. Alright, so until the next time, we just uh, plug along and see what happens.
pretty much. Ah, this, this was the problem. Yes. I had to use proper nails or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyway. So, till next time. And, uh, you know, happy trails and whatnot. Do you. Touch.